We're in an attic that's been blown with cellulose and it was blown in years ago. And what we're looking at right here is evidence of a roof leak. That dark gray cellulose is currently wet because it rained last night. Now, the moisture or water has not penetrated down through the cellulose to the ceiling below because once it stops raining, the sun comes out and dries it out. And the roof, that's where the leak is right there. The roof around it is in good condition. There's no evidence of mold growth anywhere. So the ventilation system is working and this is an element of redundancy that you have when you air seal and insulate an attic floor versus if you decide to spray the underside of the roof with foam. Because if you coat the underside of your roof with foam and you get a leak somewhere, and by the way, from my experience, I'd say about half the roofs that we're in leak somewhere, albeit smally, and um, the homeowners often don't realize it. But if you trap that moisture against the underside of your roof and it can't get out, then you have a risk of a roof rot situation. You then have to get the shingles torn off and the roof decking removed and the foam beneath it also removed. So this is a wide insulwise. wise We are big advocates of insulating and air sealing the attic floor and ventilating the attic properly because if you do get a leak and often you're not gonna know that it happens, at least the moisture can get out. And again, it's just an element of redundancy because Things often happen in homes, and particularly with roofs, and homeowners are not aware of them because you don't come into these spaces very often. This is a, a suspended supply duct right here that was spray foamed when the attic was done. We're also big fans of this process because at this point the duct system is fully air sealed as well as insulated with uh, two inches of closed cell foam. And the roof above is completely protected um, and allowed to dry out while the conditioned air that's flowing through the supply ducts is fully insulated and sealed. So here with Insulwise here in Pittsburgh, hope this helped you out. This is an image of the roof outside. You can see it's in very good condition. This roof has been on for seven years, high quality architectural shingles. The roof, the leak might have originated up in the valley up there, but still you would look at this roof and think that for sure it's watertight. Well, it's not. <laughs>